BT reports its third quarter numbers at the end of January. The numbers will be the last for the exiting chief executive, Gavin Patterson, who will be succeeded by Philip Janssen. Patterson's tenure has been dogged by ballooning costs for broadband networks and BT's position in the market. Add to this the pension deficit, something else in the back of minds of shareholders. However, as Janssen takes over, the company will now have to find the money to pay for the move into the new, faster, more expensive 5G networks. Let's take a look at the chart. This is the weekly chart, and you can see this is the point where we had Gavin Patterson take over. The stock has seen a net 30% loss from then to this point as to where we were, although in his first two years uh, it saw a 47% rise. Since those highs at over £5 back in November 2015, shares have more than halved since that point. Moving on to the daily chart, just to get a better idea as to where the support is uh, for BT Group, you can see that shares currently trading at 235 Ahead of these earnings out on Thursday the 31st, support for the company comes in at 201.55. Likely if we do get a good number uh, from BT that we could well end up seeing shares being capped out at some of these uh, recent gains at 267. So depending on what the numbers look like uh, next week will depend on where this stock then moves. For more videos, join us on Twitter at IGTV and subscribe to our YouTube channel.